adrenaline rush, Jetivation has it. The Jetivator is a flying water propelled bike. It basically utilizes the thrust that comes out the back of a jet ski. Um, it comes up a 50 foot fire hose and propels and elevates a bike that you ride into the sky. At this workshop in California, Rob Innes and his team are always cooking up something new. Even though we've been building the Jetivator for a couple of years now, we're always trying new stuff and we probably knock out about one prototype every week or two. One of the interesting things with developing new concepts is trying to make it user-friendly for every size, shape, weight of rider. They're going to new heights to get anyone and everyone airborne with the Freedom Flyer. And they mean everyone. So we were kind of playing around with the idea of a of a flying wheelchair or something that you sit on top of. That's a big challenge considering Jetivator riders use leg strength to steer. The Freedom Fly, it's more about manipulating your controls to, to control both your pitch and your roll at the same time. Their first prototype was literally a flying wheelchair. They've come a long way from that. What we've been doing for the last few months is basically getting feedback from from real, you know, paraplegic pilots, amputee pilots. Oh, you, you Derek Shaw and Cindy De Jesus didn't hesitate to take the challenge. Today will be Cindy's very first flight. Derek's second. This is what Cindy has wanted since she fell out of a treehouse as a child and lost most of the use of her legs. If somebody else can have that fun, so can I. I, I want to have that fun too. It was something that adrenaline junkies would die for. I had to get on one and try it. The, the biggest thing for me was how am I going to be able to do this without any control of my core? Derek had a bike accident a year and a half ago. My spinal cord was severed in between T4 and T5 uh, vertebrae. Before I had my accident, I ran track and also did a lot of water sports. Totally missed wakeboarding. That was one of my favorite things to do. In Derek's first flight, he struggled a bit with the position of the controls. So essentially, your hands will be here. So even when you're in the sitting position, if you're falling back too far, you'll be able to get the throw that we get right, right, without right. having to bend forward. We're taking their feedback to really engineer and design the thing the way it needs to be. So here's your handles. Now push this one as far forward as you can and push the other one. What do you think? No, that one's quite a lot more. That's yeah. about 20 degrees more. Yeah. Now you can look how much throw you got. Definitely. With the adjustments made, they're off to the lake. But even the hot shots at Jetivation are being careful on test day. Derek, ready? It's been kind of terrifying because, you know, we're, we're, we're dealing with all sorts of people who have pretty severe injuries and, you know, we don't want to you know, create more issues for them. But I cannot believe, you know, their enthusiasm and courage and their determination. It's, it's unreal. When you get on this thing and you get up out of that water, you do not want to come down. It's a great ride, but for Derek, it could be better. When I get up, my legs are dangling. I definitely probably have just a strap running across my thighs so I can tr control more. After watching Derek, Cindy is pumped. wasn't afraid of it. I crashed several times, so I'm, I'm quite okay with the name of Crash. She struggles, but she won't give up. If I lean forward and, and don't be afraid to shove those handlebars forward. Okay. It frustrated me from the standpoint of, I will be better than this chair, so I, I'm going to conquer this chair. Pretty soon I was gliding, and then I was flying and soaring over the water. It's something that, that's really gratifying to see people get up in the sky. It's flying around like they're a fighter pilot. It gives me that excitement of, I can do it. 